Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today we're going to be playing the Pinball Arcade, and specifically the Attack from Mars table. Uh, Attack from Mars is an all-time classic, came out in 1995 in arcades as a real-world pinball machine, um, and it's just an all-time classic. It's so much fun to play. It's one of my favorites to go back to, whether it be a real machine or it be a digital recreation. Um, the Farsight Pinball Digital Recreation is a lot of fun to play because you have some liberties that you can take that you can't really do on a real machine and I'll explain some of those things uh, as we play through this um, and uh, that makes getting to the ultimate goal the rule the universe wizard mode uh, much easier than it is on a real machine and uh, so you know while I play a lot of real pinball I prefer the challenge of real pinball and just the real physical nature of real pinball I do like ch uh, kicking back and just chilling out to some digital pinball and just kind of zoning out and ruling the universe over and over on Farsight's Pinball Arcade. Now, unfortunately, this is a uh, machine that you can't buy anymore uh, digitally from Farsight. You actually uh, have to go to Pinball F FX3, which is Zen Studios. They acquire the rights to these Bally and Williams tables. Uh, so on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, you can no longer purchase this. However, there is a workaround. If you have a Nintendo Wii U, you can get an older version of Attack from Mars um, with an older engine uh, pinball arcade on the Wii U and it is still available as of doing this video. I don't know if it's an oversight from Farsight or if it's some kind of loophole they're just taking advantage of um, but uh, as of doing this video you can still buy this on the Wii U. So if you like what you see here and you have a Nintendo Wii U consider picking it up on the Wii U uh, and uh, all the tricks and all the tactics and all the bounces and stuff like that all the goals will be the same in that version if you want to check this out. So I had actually recently done a let's play of this game the past but it was kind of a dis disaster I um, was trying to get to rule the universe but just failed horribly so let's hope that we can do a little bit better on this playthrough um, also this is sort of the start of trying to up my content on YouTube a little bit so uh, for the last uh, probably year and a half to two years I've been doing alternating Sundays for let's plays but uh, I want to try to pad out my content a little bit with stuff like digital pinball and other things I don't really need to practice so much and uh, so um, this will be one of those videos where it's just gonna be back to back to another let's play so you're not gonna have a two-week wait between videos most likely sometimes you will sometimes you won't but this is the start of not always having to wait two weeks be between videos so as usual if you guys have any questions or comments or anything post them down in the comment section below and with that let's go ahead and just hit start so so when you play pinball, real or digital, uh, you have to plunge a ball up to the top of the play field. Attack from Mars has two ways to plunge the ball. One is a super skill shot, which I'll, ex uh, I'll demonstrate right now. You hold in the left flipper and then hit the plunge button and then the ball just loops all the way around. Uh, one of the super skill shots you can do is lower the, uh, the saucer door immediately. And uh, I highly, highly recommend doing that at first if you if you do super skill shot. There are some other things you can do with the super skill shot, like shoot any of the ramps or any of the outer orbits. Um, by uh, completing those with a super skill shot, you'll actually end up uh, completing those instantly. You'll notice that each uh, of the main shots, both ramps uh, and both orbits, have three lights on them. And uh, one of the ideas is to complete all three lights on uh, all your four main shots. Now you do have an inner ramp as well, which is to the left of the uh, middle saucer. And uh, that actually will light your uh, your ball locks for multi-ball. So it's really good to go for those too. Get your locks going. Uh, multi-ball is one of the many goals that you have to complete on the play field. So if you look down between the slingshots, which are uh, just above the flippers, you'll notice that there are these six green, sometimes flashing lights. And uh, completing those uh, will qualify Rule the Universe, which is our big wizard mode of the game. Wizard modes are basically end game material. Uh, on pinball machines. They're called wizard modes. Um, I guess because back in the day, you know, uh, really high-level pinball players were called pinball wizards. Um, and uh, so uh, in the uh, the 90s when uh, games started to have um, uh, I guess uh, more uh, uh, deliberate finite end game goals uh, they started calling those end game goals and modes that you get for completing everything wizard modes. Uh, so Attack from Mars is one of those machines where you've got a set limited amount of goals uh, and you want to try to complete all of them to qualify a really big, really fun mode at the end of the game. Um, 
So now what you'll notice I'm doing is I'm, I'm not flipping a lot of the times, and what, uh, what that does is it lets me get the ball under control. So for those of you guys that have never played, or not, haven't played much of uh, real pinball, um, uh, what you want to do is you want to trap the ball. A lot of people feel like pinball is just this completely random thing, but you can actually stop the flow of, uh, you know, the, the ball movement. And you just trap up and you think, okay, what do I want to do? I want to go for the, the right orbit. Can we hit the right orbit? I just hit the right orbit. I called it. Um, so that's what doing things like uh, the, the bounce pass, as they call it, or the dead flipper bounce. Um, it'll let you just bounce the ball from one flipper to the other, and then you can slow the ball down that way and then trap up. You just grab the ball with your flipper, and then you just hold on to it. It's no rush in pinball, unless you're really trying to make a uh, last-minute shot and get those points. So we're in uh, our main multi-ball here. You have to hit uh, both, uh, sorry, I should say all three ramps, and then both outer orbits uh, for jackpots. And then after you do that, a super jackpot lights. And so we really want to make that happen, uh, because making that happen will complete one of our objectives on that uh, that bank of six green lights I was talking about. And uh, what's cool about multiball in this game is you can also use it to complete your saucer, as long as the saucer door is down. So I also recommend doing that, but I really want to focus on that jackpot first. So I'm going to go for that right ramp and miss. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, so tricky situation here. We're basically gonna have to drop a flipper and then flip. Just like so. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go for that right ramp. Can we get it? Oh, no, we can't get it. Oh, we got it! It actually... Wow, we ended up getting it. There's... Okay, so there's a little thing called grace period in this game. Uh, when a mode ends and the light goes out on a shot, that shot is actually still active for collecting that shot. And so the light went out on the right ramp, but I've got several seconds to try to hit that. And I managed to do it, and it collected the jackpot even though the light was out. And by com by doing that, it completed all my jackpots and lit the super jackpot. The super jackpot always lights on this leftmost uh, outer loop. It's called in orbit. And, uh, and so I was able to hit the right ramp and then collect the super jackpot. And so, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm going to actually try something here. Uh, there's a little trick you can do to get a billion points instantly. And that is uh, starting uh, all of your hurry-ups at once. And I'll explain the hurry-ups in just a moment. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, no, I failed. So, you'll notice that your, your four main shots, your, your, your two main ramps, your two outer orbits, when you complete all three shots of a specific lane, uh, what will happen is you'll start a hurry up and so there we go We just completed the right ramp and then the hurry up lit on the uh, the center target now You notice on the top left it says shoot the center and it's got a uh, it's got a hurry up countdown and um, So what I can do is I can try to shoot the uh, the saucer door to do that But if I stack multiple hurry ups together, which I just did I started one hurry up and then shot the right orbit to start another um, that hurry up actually uh, multiplies in value and so what I'm going to try to do here instead is, um, that was an accidental bounce shot, <laughs> it just rejected, uh, uh I, I shot too late, it hit the slingshot and went up into the uh, scoop on the right hand, uh, side. And went, that actually threw us right into video mode, so we're going to have to play video mode. We basically use both flippers, uh, to fire our gun. Now if you have a Martian bomb, which I don't think I have, uh, you can actually, uh, blow up all the saucers on the screen, and, uh, so what I like to do when I play this mode is I usually just wave the gun back and forth, and this is kind of a crapshoot, um, but you can collect an extra ball there as well. And great, we got it. So this is going to actually lead us to the boss fight of this video mode. So the idea is to uh, hit this. And, oh, look at that. I did have a Martian bomb. So I tried using the Martian bomb, and apparently I had one. And instead of hitting the saucer 80 times, uh, I destroyed the saucer immediately. And, uh, yeah. So my hurry up is still going, but what I want to do is shoot that left ramp uh, to start uh, my last hurry up, uh, which will actually take me into a mode called Total Annihilation. So I'm going to loop it around here, and a little trick you can do in the digital pinball arcade version is just loop the ball infinitely uh, around these orbits without even flipping. It's not really something you could do in a real machine. Uh, but we just got it. We got uh, what's called Total Annihilation. It would have been better to get this mode with the saucer door down because then I could progress towards uh, my next saucer. So, but it's not a big deal. 
Uh, so we've qualified three of the uh, six modes that we need to. And for total annihilation, every shot is lit for decent jackpots. And the jackpot value goes up every time you collect one. Now, there's a uh, special uh, part to this. If you shoot that inner shot um, between the left ramp and the middle saucer door, um, that is a massive jackpot value that's basically, I think it's something like the value of all the jackpots you've collected up to that point uh, without collecting the major jackpot. So let's go ahead and collect that. Annihilation jackpot, 215 million. So very nice there. And if I wanted to, I could just try to keep my game going here or keep my uh, my multi-ball going. It's not really something, I'm not really looking to score super high um, because honestly, once you get into the groove of the pinball arcade version of, of Attack from Mars, you can keep your game going literally all day. Uh, the high scores on the leaderboards are just absolutely ridiculous because, uh, you know, the the ball control for the most part is, uh, is a lot more uh, controllable than a real machine for the most part. Um, again, you can just shoot one of these outer orbits. I can't really demonstrate it right now, but you can shoot one of those outer orbits and then just not even, uh, you know, not even flip. Just like leave the flipper down and the ball will just loop from one flipper to the other completely unrealistically without any player intervi and intervention. Um, so we'll go ahead and just keep playing it out. We'll get some points. I'll show you kind of how to uh, juggle multi-ball. And uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit harder to juggle multi-ball in Pinball Arcade because the physics aren't as good as real life. Uh, so there are a lot of like little baby techniques like uh, doing little baby taps when the ball's at the edge of the flipper to, to hop uh, um, to hop the ball from one flipper to the other. There's uh, If you got two balls on one flipper or even three, uh, there's a way on real pinball machines to hop one ball up just a little bit, let the other ball roll down, flip it, and then grab the other ball that you just hopped up. Kind of hard to visualize if you've never seen it before, but uh, lots of uh, really cool stuff you could do on a real machine that you unfortunately can't do uh, with Farsight's physics. There are some unique things you can do, like you can do what's called a live catch, uh, where you just basically catch the ball as it comes down, but those are also very hard to do on this. Um, they're very hard to do in general on a real machine. So what we've got is uh, Martian Multiball, or not yet. What we have to do is actually qualify Martian Multiball. We've got the first part done. We have to actually hit uh, the, the white Martian targets. And there we go, we got it. And it takes us into a two-ball multiball. And what's great about this two-ball multiball is you can hit the saucer, you can hit the Martian targets for points. They're not big points, but you can still hit them. Uh, but the most important thing is that you can actually use Martian multiball to progress towards total annihilation, uh, the total annihilation multiball. So you notice that my main shot lights, the yellow lights on each shot, can still be qualified. They're still blinking, meaning I can still hit them. And uh, so your big goal with Martian multiball is kind of not really to play Martian multiball itself and hit the Martian targets. You want to use it to clear out your other goals. And uh, so I got a couple shots for total annihilation and whatnot. Uh, nothing too crazy. But uh, one of the main goals we have to get is uh, a five-way combo. And my goal now is to try to uh, qualify that five-way combo. In order to do that, uh, what I'm going to have to do is shoot these orbits over and over. And it's the easiest way to get a five-way combo for me. Now, you could shoot the ramps and combo those into other shots. Uh, unfortunately, I just ended my combo because when your orbits aren't completed, um, your combo ends, and so, uh, so that was kind of a mistake shooting that right orbit, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and try to shoot that orbit again. We got it. One more shot on that orbit, and then the ball will start looping all the way around. You can't see it, but there's actually what's called a, uh, diverter gate up top, um, that basically keeps the ball and going down into those pop bumpers. Super pops is another goal, uh, so you have to hit the pop bumpers a lot, and then eventually you'll qualify super pops, and uh, that'll light the light as well. Super pops will give you like a couple million points per pop man. bumper hit. So if you're playing a multi-ball and getting the balls out there constantly, then you can get some extra points that way. So there we go. Uh, we've uh, got our orbits qualified, and what I want to do is just actually hit the orbits over and over uh, to try to qualify my five-way combo. There we go. That's a three-way combo. Again, grace period. The lights went out, but I had a couple seconds to, to try to make a shot. That's the grace period. Uh, it's one of the great things about some of these Williams tables, and in particular, Lyman Sheets, uh, who is uh, who actually uh, programmed this machine, and is still working in the pinball industry today. Um, he was one of the earlier guys to, to use 
uh, grace periods on uh, pinball machines, and it it makes the game so much more uh, fun um, because you have more flexibility. Oops. Um, so I sort of choked there, and you'll notice what happened is like a, a little harsh sound triggered, and that's a tilt warning. So. Uh, you've got uh, triggers on the machine, and you can actually move the machine, and that's completely legal, even in real pinball. You can use your, your hands and arms to actually physically shake the machine in the real world. Um, and uh, they've replicated that in the, the digital game here, um, but the thing is, you can only do it so much, and you'll eventually get a tilt warning. Uh, you'll get two warnings, and then if you get a third one, uh, basically all the lights cut out and you lose your ball. Uh, so you've got to be really careful about that. Uh, you definitely want to shake the machine, uh, you definitely want to nudge, um, but uh, you don't want to nudge so much that you lose your ball. So what I'm going to do is try to get, uh, you know, I do want that five-way combo, but I can also try to get Total Annihilation going again. And I've got my locks lit, so I should probably try to collect those locks too. So not a very difficult shot, um, so I definitely want to get those going. And you got to watch out for those slingshots, they are extremely deadly in uh, pretty much any pinball machine you play, uh, digital or real. I'm just going to let that bounce over, and there we go, got my lock shot. So, you'll notice that it actually takes uh, more shots to start this multi-ball now than it did before. Uh, and um, so the first time you want to start multi-ball, on, on the default settings anyway, there are difficulty settings on pinball machines. Um, it just takes one shot to the lock shot, um, and then all three locks will light back to back. And uh, so let's go ahead and go for our lock shot. There we go. Now my goal here is not to score points on multi-ball. Now my goal is to hit that saucer first. Because aside from the five-way combo, my last goal is to conquer Mars, which is the saucer in the middle. The last saucer is Mars. It's, you know, you go to Mars itself. And uh, there we go. We actually just finished it. So very cool. Now you also get extra rewards if you complete these uh, lanes, uh, these yellow lanes down at the bottom of the playfield. Uh, on the uh, the return lanes, um, that's actually what lights Stroke of Luck on the uh, the scoop. The scoop is the uh, the shot again on to the right of the uh, the saucer. And uh, if you complete those lanes uh, something like ten or twelve times, you'll qualify another extra ball. And that's also kind of my goal as well because I want as many extra balls as I can so we make sure that we actually get to. Uh, rule the universe this time and there we go. So now uh, Well, okay, I was gonna demonstrate the super jackpot uh, roving across the playfield uh, But we actually ended up just collecting it. So we'll go ahead and just try to play this out again So okay, if you got three balls trapped up like this or even just two you want to think about You know the smartest shots that you could make so for me right now um, I can actually theoretically make two shots if I shoot with the right flipper. I can shoot the inner jackpot next to the saucer, and then I can shoot the left orbit or the left ramp. So I'm gonna try to do that, and I failed. So I actually overshot there, and by overshooting, I ended up having three balls on one flipper. So a pinball is one of those things, uh, that people are like, again, oh, it's completely random, I've got no control, and while there is randomness to it, um, there is a lot of control uh, that can be had as well to swing that randomness more into your favor. There is a randomness on pinball machines or in pinball, pinball machines, but there's a lot of skill as well. And when you implement that skill, um, the games become much more controllable and honestly a lot more fun to play. So another strategy I can do is get the saucer door down, which I've just done. Um, and then just try to get back into multi-ball. And I still haven't gotten my five-way combo, so I want to do that too. Uh, but I'm e I'm either undershooting or I'm overshooting. That's a two-way combo right there. So I'm going to just stop the ball like so. That's a three-way combo. I actually shot too early. I was actually going for the right orbit. Uh, so my, my nerves are not 100% good right now. And again, that was not planned. Uh, I've got a combo going. Let's see if we can just keep it going. There we go. There's another. Eight-way combo. You notice that your combo points keep going up in value, and uh, the combos become worth a lot of points if you can keep them going. This is one way to sort of cheese the game, uh, which is very, very difficult to do on a real machine. Now, you can sort of do this on a real machine with a technique called loop passing, 
but loop passes are very difficult to do if uh, you're not comfortable with doing them. Uh, and the ability to do a loop pass on a real machine also varies from game to game. Even attack from Mars to attack from Mars. Just because you can loop pass on one attack from Mars doesn't mean you're going to be able to loop pass on another. Because maybe the flippers are more shallow, maybe the game's steeper, uh, maybe uh, one of the, the outer rails is bent a little bit and the feed isn't all that great. Uh, so things like that. And look at this, we're just milking this combo. 17 way, let's see how high we can get this. Let's see how high we can get this combo. Uh, you'll notice that I'm missing every other shot though, but this grace period is just very, very handy. And yeah, the combo's gone. We're not gonna get it now, so. But that's okay. Let's see if we can get that extra ball. It's lit on the scoop. Now, for those of you guys wondering, uh, Austin, why are you playing with this playfield angle? People that are familiar with Pinball Arcade will know that you can actually change the camera angle, but I find this to be the easiest for me to play. It's not as easy on, say, the viewer's eyes. You might have to squint a little more watching this video. Um, but uh, it's for me, I can see the whole play field. I can see the angles properly. Uh, and it's my preferred way of playing this. Uh, so this is Strobe Multiball. This is accessed through the Stroke of Luck uh, award. And uh, so what you need to do here is hit the saucer door a bunch of times. Now I believe if you hit the saucer door something like 10 or 15 times, uh, no, yeah, I think it's 10 times. It actually says it up top. Yeah, extra ball lit at 10. Uh, you can get an extra ball lit if you manage to successfully do it. It's a little tricky to get all 10 hits, uh, but it is fun to do. Now, fun little fact here, on Strobe Multiball, there's always a ball save that's active after Strobe Multiball ends. I think it's the only uh, multiball in the game uh, where that happens. Alright, so my goal is to hit that left ramp, but I also want to light my next lock. Because I'm going to need that lock uh, for uh, a future Saucer Award. So, let's go ahead and collect that lock. So, I need uh, three more Saucers, and then once we do that, uh, we will qualify uh, Rule the Universe. And I'll finally be able to show that off in the Let's Play. I was not able to show that off on my Attack from Mars Let's Play from... Might have been 2016 or 2015 or something like that. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Um, but it was it was so bad, I just... I just I just removed it completely. I think I just deleted it. I don't even care about the, the numbers. So we're back into Total Annihilation. Again, every shot's lit for jackpots, and then there's the Annihilation jackpot on the left of the saucer. Don't really care about that. All I really care about is completing the saucer up top. So I just want to go for that center shot. Hopefully not flail too much. Flailing is just when you're just you're just bashing the balls around and not thinking about where uh, they're going. So you don't want to flail in pinball, <laughs> mostly. Um, even if you got a really big multi-ball with ball save, uh, s sometimes you're better off stopping uh, the action, even when there's ball save, and uh, making a deliberate, educated shot. And uh, so if you listen closely, you'll notice that there are certain callouts that, that happen in this game. And uh, one of them will be, uh, destroy the saucer. And so you need to listen out to those callouts. And that's exactly why I knew uh, it was time to destroy that saucer. Even though not, I'm not really able to see uh, the saucer because of my, my playfield angle. If you switch the playfield angles, you'll notice that there's actually a drop target underneath that saucer. Um, and uh, so you can actually visibly see that the saucer is ready to be shot down. Um, but me, I just I just use the audio cues. Um, and if I'm in multiball, I don't even pay attention. I just keep shooting the shots anyway because I'm in multiball. You know, I try not to go for the saucer in single ball play unless I'm on ball one, uh, or saucer one, or saucer two. Any other saucer past that takes way too many hits, and it's way too risky uh, to do it. So. So we'll go ahead and play this out for a little bit. Again, I can just let the ball bounce very unrealistically. Uh, balls coming down from orbits like that won't usually just simply bounce off a flipper like that to safety. <laughs> it'll either it, it'll either go it'll bounce too hard and it'll go right into the slingshot, then it'll go back out of control, or it'll just miss completely and go straight down the middle. So it's not something you really want to do on a real machine from an orbit, uh, depending. So look at that. That's a nice live catch right there. So what I want to do is not start multi-ball yet. I want to open up this saucer door first, just like that. And uh, now we're going to use my main multi-ball to uh, complete uh, this saucer right here. Now every every saucer you get to takes more hits than the previous one. And this one takes a lot of hits to take down. So you absolutely don't want to hit it in, in single ball play. 
So we're at 15 billion points already, which is a pretty solid. This would actually be a fantastic score of the real machine. Um, pinball arcade wise, it's not really a great score. We haven't even ruled the universe yet. Um, you can get hundreds of billions of points on the pinball arcade version. But the hell, the top, uh, the the top score might even be like a trillion or something like that. It's really crazy. So. So I haven't actually hit the saucer yet, except that one time right there, because you know I wasn't, uh, I wasn't slowing the balls down well enough. I wasn't, uh, you know, aiming my shots properly like that. I went for the shot, but there's a ball in the way, and that was my fault. I shouldn't have actually shot. So, uh, so let's go ahead and just get things under control here. I don't care if a ball drains; it just really doesn't matter. Uh, so let's just keep things under control. Hit that saucer. It's all about that saucer. A little bit of flailing right there to get the ball in, uh, back in play. It was gonna go uh, <laughs> straight down the middle, unfortunately, and uh, that happens. Using a little bit of nudging right there to, uh, oops, I was gonna say keep the ball in play again, but not a great multi-ball. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could try to go for the saucer and single ball play. Yeah, so if you look in the top left, that's the dot matrix display. It shows a health meter on the saucer. And uh, I think there's actually, just enough health to where I could probably get it down in single ball play uh, and and be just fine. Little baby tap right there. That's it's possible to do that with with uh, single ball play. Really difficult to uh, to make it work when you're trying to juggle multiple balls in multi ball. And that was a terrible drain. I am still on ball one, by the way. I've gotten so many extra balls that uh, I am still on ball one, which is great. Which means I can I can just go for that saucer in single ball play. And we kept that ball going so long, we get over 2 billion points in bonus. Uh, so let's go for that super skill shot again. Just let it loop around like that. And then go for the center saucer. That, you ugly green now you can get added damage uh, by hitting the uh, the side targets up in the saucer area. So let me see if I can... Um, that is the uh, the lock. There we go. So you can see up uh, in the saucer area, there's a, there's a gap now. And there we go. We just collected the saucer. So now what I have to do is uh, hit the saucer doors again, um, but the uh, the target in the back saucer area is permanently down. So the last saucer takes a while to clear, but it's actually one of the easier saucers to get rid of because it's a lot less risky. There's no target up in the background once we get this main wall down. So you notice that, again, the target is uh, is completely down. Let's go ahead and bring our camera back up, just like so, and then lock it in place, just like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and just keep shooting the middle a bunch of times. Now, if I was in multi-ball, I could do the exact same thing, but I don't really feel the need to get back into multi-ball here. As long as I'm not playing stupid, as long as I'm shooting straight up the middle, just like that. If you notice on the top left, uh, Mars looks like a, kind, of a, kind of a slice of cheese, and you're just kind of eating out of it. Um, there we go, we completed another stroke of luck uh, com uh, qualification. So it's again those four yellow lights out at the bottom. And uh, assuming we can actually hit the saucer, not the saucer, but the uh, the scoop uh, to the right of the uh, the saucer shot. Uh, once we qualify Rule the Universe, we will get to Rule the Universe. But sometimes, and this has happened to me on real machines, I've qualified Rule the Universe on a real machine multiple times and failed to actually hit that shot. I'd be on ball three or something like that. Now you'll notice I've gotten a ton of extra balls on this and extra balls aren't usually as generous if you're trying to play an attack of attack from Mars on a uh, real location. Um, so you might get one extra ball, you might get two, but you probably won't get six like you will in the, the pinball arcade. And there we go. So we just uh, defeated Mars. Can't we just be friends? Mars destroyed 2.5 billion. Very nice points. So now rule the universe is lit on the scoop. And so now my goal is to try to hit that tiny scoop um, in the four or five balls I still have. We're still on ball one, and I don't know how many extra balls I have. Um, if you hold down your flippers, you can go into instant info and, uh, and check to see that information. Not all games have that information, but Lyman Sheets is a master at his craft, even in 1995, and uh, he gave you that information. So we're in Rule the Universe right now. We haven't actually ruled the universe yet, but basically everything is lit, including the original multi-ball, normal multi-ball super jackpot. So I like to hit the saucer a lot. I definitely like to try to collect that super jackpot. Uh, but the idea is to get 5 billion points 
uh, in a certain amount of time. If you don't get it in a certain amount of time, you don't rule the universe. But on the Pinball Arcade version, even if you're flailing, it's usually pretty easy to get it. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and just keep flailing, flailing, flailing around. I'm trying to flail intelligently, though. There we go. We got a Super Jackpot. 750 million points for a Super Jackpot. So that's uh, almost a fifth of our requirement to rule the universe. And the Super Jackpot is just permanently lit. You can just go for Supers all day long. So I have 500 uh, million points remaining. There we go. We got it. I collected a Super Jackpot at the very end. There we go. Redemption for my horrible Let's Play from many years ago. And you get to see a little animation here. Uh, and then the game starts over. That's pretty much it. We basically, uh, quote unquote, beat the game. Now, uh, on pinball machines, it's, you know, on location, it's about setting a high score, too. So at this point, if you got this on a real world machine, you would just keep going. And you would, uh, you know, you would keep playing. Now, what's really nice is that the saucer is always down now. So that's a goal you don't have to do again. So if I wanted to roll the universe a second time, I could absolutely try to do that. So let's, uh, I don't know, screw it. Let's try to do it. Why not? We're only at 30 minutes right now. We can go a little bit longer. And uh, that'll give me some time to explain any other details I'm missing. So we got victory laps lit as well because we ruled the universe. You'll notice that there are solid red lights on the, uh, the shots now, so... So just like before, to get my five-way combo, I'm going to try to shoot those orbits uh, to get those going. And I'm going to also try to progress towards uh, multi-ball as well. So you notice that uh, on the lock shot, uh, the ball actually just sort of sinks in, whereas normally it doesn't do that. Uh, so basically what's happening is uh, there's a little diverter there as well um, that, uh, that opens up to feed the ball into a little hole that you can't see from the front of the playfield. So, Really uh, clever, uh, you know, mechanics design on this game. So there's, a, there's a big reason that Attack from Mars is seen as one of those all-time favorites and all-time classics. Uh, it's not just the rules, it's not just the sounds, but it's also the mechanics, the shot flow, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go for uh, the right to orbit now, if I can. Try to get my five-way combo going. If I can. So there we go, let that loop around. Another victory lap, 120 mil for one shot. Pretty good points. We're just gonna let this loop around, just like so, and then just keep it going. And, whoops, I failed that. Ooh, and that's a bad drain. Not a big deal, though, not a big deal. So, we, uh, yeah, so Mars is the only thing that's done. I'm gonna do a super skill shot again. Actually, no, if you do a regular skill shot, you can try to get the ball to land in one of those top lanes, and you can change the lane up top. Uh, you'll get, you know, 20 some odd million points or something like that. And uh, when I'm playing a real machine, especially if I'm playing competition, uh, I generally prefer to go for the top lanes. The, uh, the shot is a lot safer, I can get some small points from it, and uh, maybe get some lane completions up top. And uh, the lane completions, um, you know, will add to my end of ball bonus multiplier. <laughs> It'll add to that potential 2 billion points you can get from playing a really long ball. Now this is a really good situation, because I started... Uh, um, Martian, um, um, Martian multi-ball, the qualification for that first, before starting my main multi-ball. Now I've got both multi-balls playing at the same time. And by starting Martian multi-ball, I've also qualified that mode, because I had to do that anyway. And so my goal now is also to, to, uh, hit those jackpots. I've got three jackpots I have to hit. Let's see if we can just get the, get this to slow down. I'm gonna go for that inner lock shot. Got it. Now I'm gonna go for that left ramp. Jackpot! failed, but it's okay. There we go. Got it. Gonna go for the right ramp now. Got it. Super jackpot lights on the left orbit, and then it roves around the play field. So now it's on the left ramp. Now it's on the lock shot. But I don't have the balls under control right now, so, you know, it's... Yeah, not a good situation. I'm gonna wait for it to loop back around. By letting it loop back around, what I like to do is just drop uh, the flipper, let both balls fall down, and then make a late shot, and one of the balls should hit the left orbit if I do it just right. Sometimes you do it with the left ramp as well, but I'm gonna go for the left orbit. So drop the flipper, boom, got it, just like that. See, that was intentional. 
That's multi-ball juggling for you. Multi-ball juggling 101. Multi-ball skill 101. Now, you can also do a thing that's called a drop catch, which is actually really difficult to do in Pinball Arcade, but it is possible. It's where you, uh, you basically drop the flipper as the ball hits it, and uh, uh, you'll sort of stop all momentum. And you, you notice I'm doing it a little bit, um, kind of like that. That's, that's a bit of a drop catch right there. Uh, but it's really difficult to get the timing right uh, on the Pinball Arcade version. So Super Jackpot's lit again. And I think it's on the lock shot. Oh no, I got it. Okay, it relit all the shots. Okay, great. We're having a great multi-ball, actually. There we go, another jackpot. Trying to hit that saucer. Very nice live catch there. And there we go. Same strategy as before. Oops, I messed that up. Oh, that's right. No, the saucer door is not completely down. So if we actually uh, switch our camera angle, you'll notice that there's the drop target up now. And uh, so well, we can hit the drop target infinitely. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not really a safe shot. All right, so Super Jackpot's lit again. It's the left orbit again. It always starts in the same spot. Boom, got it. All intentional. So now the safe strategy in multi-ball here is to just make sure that you, you don't flip again until you get both balls under control. So we're gonna do that uh, trick I was talking about again. Ooh, and I mistimed it. But I did a drop, I did a drop catch right there. Let's go for that. Oops, I was trying to go for that right orbit. Wasn't able to get it, it's okay. All right, so we're gonna go uh, left lock shot again, and I missed. It's okay. Ooh, and we drain. Sort of flubbed that, but that's okay. Ugly All right, so uh, now what I can do is uh, I basically need total annihilation, super jets, and the five-way combo. So uh, let's uh, let's go for eh, I don't know. Let's go for a total annihilation. There's one. And that actually started our five-way combo, so I'm going to try to finish off with the five-way combo. So let's go for that left orbit. Oops, I missed. And we drained. That's terrible. We're, we're only at 46 billion on ball one. I mean... So, such little, little scoring. Such small score. Such a small score. Um, alright, let's just go for total annihilation then. Or we can just go for the five-way combo instead. Because I'm not, uh, I'm either overshooting or I'm undershooting. And when I when I visit Pinball Arcade cold like I did this morning, um, that always happens to me. I either undershoot or I overshoot. Um, that doesn't happen to me as often on real pinball machines. I guess because I've just clocked so much time into the real game. Um, how well you can shoot on a real machine also depends on a variety of factors. It's one of the interesting things about real pinball is, uh, you know, sometimes things are set easier, sometimes a machine is cleaner, sometimes it's steeper, sometimes it's shallower, sometimes the flippers flip really slowly because the mechanics are worn and laggy. Uh, sometimes the flippers might stick, or maybe sometimes there's a little bit of ball hop where the back edge of the flipper touches the, uh, the, the plastic. So that's an eight-way combo. So we actually qualified the five-way combo, so now all I, all I need to do is start Total Annihilation. And then hopefully we get Super Pops from this. I'm just going to drain the balls out just to hit the Pop Bumpers over and over. As long as Ball Save is on, then the balls will just keep going into the Pops. And look that, we just qualified Super Jets. And now all I have to do is just drain out here. I don't even have to play this. Uh, so I'm going to actually do just that. I'm going to drain. And then let this bounce. And then look at that. Rule the Universe is lit again. So the second time you get into Rule the Universe, uh, it, it takes a lot less time than the first time around. And there we go. We're back into Rule the Universe. So we're going to Rule the Universe twice in this Let's Play, which is a, a nice little accomplishment, actually. You know, even though it's Pinball Arcade, um, you know, the game is generally easier to control. Um, it's still a fun accomplishment. It's There's still a lot you have to do, and there's still a lot that has to come together. Regardless of how easy this version is. You can get some really bad drains. The ball can just go out the out lanes multiple times back to back. And then there's your whole game. And it could be uh, quite frustrating. Wow, that was way faster than last time. Holy crap. That was insanely fast compared to last time. Five billion! 
That was probably five times faster than last time. That was that was ri ridiculous. It took us ten. It took us thirty minutes to get into Rule the Universe the first time. It took us ten minutes to get into it the second time. <laughs> Uh, so there we go. That is Attack for Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not going to play out this game. I'm going to go ahead and just end the Let's Play right here. So I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, if you guys would like to see more pinball arcade videos like this, let me know, and I will absolutely do them for you. Again, I'm trying to uh, sort of raise the amount of content I do uh, on my channel here to hopefully give you guys more to watch and give me more to do. Uh, that isn't always practicing video video games for normal let's plays because I do that so often um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough uh, for those of you guys curious I do have older pinball arcade let's plays on my channel very old ones from like 2011 and 2012 um, but uh, yeah if you guys are interested in checking those out I've got medieval madness I've got monster bash I've got circus Voltaire um, but if you guys would like to see me visit other tables in this uh, that have clear and wizard modes in particular let me know um, and I'll fire those up for you guys and uh, give them a shot over the, uh, the coming months, uh, preferably, or hopefully. And uh, so yeah, if you that's pretty much going to do it for me, guys. Uh, super tired, got home from work right before doing this Let's Play, so uh, it's time for me to sleep or something like that after editing this. Uh, so thank you guys again for watching. Uh, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Lots of Let's Plays on here. Uh, and many, many more to come. And for everyone already sub, thank you for your continued support. And with that, guys, until the next one, take it easy.